It was an image last night in Rupp Arena that went viral. Someone holding a sign at last night's UK game reading, please go to Texas. I'm Nancy Cox. Thanks for joining us this evening. And I'm Larry Smith. The sign an obvious reference to Hall of Fame coach John Calipari and those rumors he's being considered for that job. A sign that some fans are pretty upset with the way the season is going. We have LEX 18 big story team coverage in Lexington tonight. LEX 18's Michael Berg talking about just what went down with that fan holding the sign in Rupp Arena. And a deeper dive into Coach Cal's lifetime contract at UK and those Texas rumors with LEX 18 Sean Moody. We begin with Sean live at the Joel Craft Center on UK's campus. Sean, good evening. Uh, good evening, Larry and Nancy. You know, that win last night for the Gamecocks was just their third in 31 games at Kentucky, their first at Rupp Arena since January 2009. That most recent loss just adds to the frustrations of the UK basketball fan base after several SEC defeats. Coach John Calipari talked on the radio last night after the game, and he said that he understands fans' frustrations. We lost at home. We don't lose at home. We lost at home, and we were down 10 at half. I expect fans to be mad. And we have the best fans, and I love our fans. I know they may be mad at me right now, but I've been here a long time teaching and working and having our fans be a big part of this. And all I'm saying is just be with these kids. They need you now more than they need you when they're 4-0. A UK's most recent loss on the basketball court was somewhat of an afterthought as most people were talking about the sign that a fan brought into the building taking aim at Coach Calipari. Michael Burke continues our LAX 18 Big Story team coverage. The first two months of the college basketball season have not been good to the UK men's basketball team and most feel as if the next two months won't be any better. This team does not play hard. They do not play together. I blame Cal. And there's a lot of that going on around here these days. UK absorbed another rough loss last night. Even a fan in the stands is hoping for the hot rumor to become reality. And no one seems to think a solution is anywhere in sight. There's a huge lack of mental and physical toughness, and that's hard to change. And I think the talent level is just not quite like what we thought it was going to be, and the pieces don't fit together. The fan with that sign didn't want to speak on camera, but he did share his side of the story with a young man who covers the team. They asked him to, take, to put the sign down. He, um, he did so, he said, and then they came back and said, we're actually going to have to take the sign. He then said, instead of you taking my sign, can I just leave? Which supports the school's version, but in reality, this isn't about signs. It's about a program that strives for national supremacy every year and has fallen well short of the mark in recent times. And the coach is in the crosshairs. Is it because of lack of talent, because of lack of they don't know what they're doing, or what? I don't know. But when you look out there and you watch this team, a lot of times they just don't have that type of effort that I think Kentucky basketball fans expect from a team. Up ahead to Hodge, pulls up for three, got it! And that frustration is being expressed in different forms now. The game passes people by at a certain point. Right now it looks like it honestly has. People in life make comebacks, maybe he can, whatever he's doing, it's not working! Now we have seen Coach Cal turn young teams around late in the season and they begin to hit their stride, but the clock is certainly ticking because right now you have to start thinking about seeding for the SEC tournament, and right now, that wouldn't be very good. In Lexington, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News. Thanks, Michael. Now, we took a look into that so-called lifetime contract that Coach Cal signed back in 2019. It was a 10-year deal worth a total of $86 million, including paydays of $8.5 million a year from 2021 through 2025 seasons. Now, here is another interesting and expensive fact about that contract. The buyout is massive. It stipulates that UK would pay him 75% of his remaining contract if UK fires him. We are talking around $40 million. Now, what about those Texas rumors. According to a report Monday on 247sports.com, Texas has contacted John Calipari about their coaching vacancy. And former UK basketball manager Travis Branham reported that, quote, not only is it reported that not only is John Calipari a name to watch on the list of candidates, but, quote, a source has told me that Texas has contacted Calipari already through back channels, end quote. Now, on his weekly radio show on Monday, Calipari addressed those rumors, saying that he is focused on Kentucky not Texas. I haven't talked to anybody. I mean, this is, you know, I'm my concern right now is my guys, my team getting this right. Um, and uh, that kind of stuff happens. But 
I only want to talk about this job. I love this job. I love this group. Now, here is your chance to tell us how you feel about the current state of the Kentucky men's basketball program. In our viewer poll tonight, we're asking, what do you think about the program? You can just turn the dial to choose your answers. The options go from one, which is imploding, all the way to 10, which is 2023 national champions. There's also a five there in the middle for, eh, there's a chance. All you have to do to take part in that poll is scan the QR code that's on your screen, or you can log on to lex18.com slash vote now to make your voice heard. Let us know what you think about the issue we're going to check in throughout the evening. We'll bring in the results later on tonight. Now, UK's next game is this Saturday at noon. That's an away game versus Tennessee, so no doubt there are going to be a lot of eyes from the Big Blue Nation watching that game, hoping for signs of improvement. Live at the Joe Craft Center, Sean Moody, LAX 18 News.